thank you. Because of you, we can wake up to a brighter tomorrow. Tomorrow? Velma, the picture, has it come back? Nope. Oh, no. You mean we've destroyed the future? No more video games? No more double cheeseburgers? No more Scooby Snacks? <laughs> <laughs> no way to return home. Don't worry, Sir Fred. You can join me in my Knights of the Round Table. Uh, all of you can. Together, we can make the world a better place. Create a kingdom where everyone is welcome as long as they fight on the side of right. Together, we can make Camelot a beacon on the hill, shining a light into the darkest of places. Bravo, bravo. Velma, what are you doing? Oh, just applauding these fine performers. I guess that's the end of your little show then, isn't it? Was she trapped back in time, too? No, Shaggy. She's not back in time, and neither are we. But the photo on the phone. Forgot to charge it. It just went dead. But all the magic, the flying, the lights. Heck, when she did that spell to freeze me. It's like I thought. There was no magic. It was all just wires, sleep gas, and the light show that the mayor said the town was going to show us later on. As for the freezing, we all know you're kind of impressionable when someone yells in your direction. What? That's not... Jump! Okay, good to know. <laughs> so, the people, they were what? Actors? Not just any actors. This is none other than that wonderful British thespian, Winston Pilkingtonshire. Winston Pilkingtonshire? <gasps> He's the actor who plays Thundar the Barbarian on TV, right? Right. I got even more suspicious when Arthur said, Demon Dogs, one of Thundar's catchphrases. You know, you say the same lines for 30 years, they're hard to shake. But what really gave it away were the abs. I'd know those abs anywhere. Whoa, will you sign my tunic? Yes, it's me and my abs. <laughs> but we couldn't have done it without this marvelous medieval renaissance troupe. Everyone, please, take a bow. <laughs> Velma, amazing deduction. It's true. I was hired to be the inaugural actor to play King Arthur in Norville Earl Morgania's newest tourist attraction, Camelot Reimagined. Camelot Reimagined? What is that? It should be obvious, Daphne. Do you remember when we first arrived at Norville or Morgania? We reached that roundabout with the one road blocked off for construction. This must be some sort of immersive attraction built right next to the town to attract tourists. In fact, with the way that Camelot is centered in the small valley to obscure what's on the other side of that stand of trees, and how the castle only has windows facing one side, I'm willing to bet that Norville or Morgana is actually only a couple of miles away. She's right. And you five are our first guests to take part in what we hope will be a very lucrative entertainment experience. 